Dream. Testing, testing. I think it needs to be a little bit louder. Okay. Maybe it, is it loud enough? Okay. How, I guess it's loud enough. Can, do you think people can hear? Welcome to the 31st Annual Oromo Studies Association Conference. We are delighted that you decided to join us today as we uh, celebrate and uh, commemorate the goddess system. So this year our conference will be dedicated to the goddess system um, and we are delighted that you're able to join us um, as we discuss the um, status of Aromo studies and commemorate um, this wonderful occasion. We're also going to be sure to recognize important scholars and figures that have made um, major contributions to Aromo studies and the Aromo cause more broadly. At this time, we are going to have the blessing. And so I'd like um, Obo Ahmed Hussein, Obo Lube Beru, and Obo um, Asnaka Irko to come to the stage to say the blessing. Ega ine bifanna warra kana kope chefi galan nisani agau ine bifta jereme nati mami akuma serati nisi miruguman kwa bisu la vje chukoti kana fi ama ine bifanna. Haye, 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 haye. Waka to kicha. Waka uma, waka uma ma. Waka duga, waka duguma. Waka kulkulu, kanturi frankavne. Waka hundumat agavu, kangurisa, kilensa. Waka chubum bekne, waka chubum bekne, waka uguma, haye, haye, waka, waka baranto, waka borana, waka oromo, kana, waka kana kan kadanu, waka hamare finne, waka hamare finne, waka nufine, waka naare. Wakan Ari Hunduma Danda Hunduma Danda Gara Garba Waka Kasiti can cut a tattoo. Egama Waka Kanaf Cantanandura Kacha de Varif Galatagal Chuk Abuna Cantanandura Kacha de Varif Hamayro Matiti Galanikanisata 
kan sarana tifis akasuma mo inkadanna ya wak wak nagan nu olchite nagan nu bulchi ya wak wona ne wak kadaddu isinis nu bulchi yechuda kuni ebi kan kodu wa don ten kanun du make chaniti narra fudadda ya wak nagan ole nagan nu bulchi nagan nu bulchi ya wak wan ho jannu hundu manu qajilchi arra bakka tokkotu waliti kabamne sikada tajira kada kenya kana nu dage wan matarati kabanne dufne wan ho jechu da qoppo ofne kana nu milkech ya wak arra ba hamanu raqabi ya wak michira dubinu raqabi ya rabbi atinu qajilchi wan wan at fetu akadu banu male wan fenu akka intane ati nu ek ya wak nu wajini inta kan barbanu enyu ma kenya kan barbanu orumu ma kenya kan barbanu waye kenya barachu dafi kan sirran nu fin hundumtu fitanin bawu ya wak ati tinu sen itinu sen wangni waqa dugati duga kenya nuf daga hammanu manjida kana fimmo innita dabalu ulfada akama ultana folcha bolubeen jar sa gudda ndayu kinnu hinge sature romona ni kabeku ka islam alayo te ya rabbi ya waqa ajida la chu yolo mbira ka bateti ka jedu wa ka ichur no ka akaro moti ismo to kocha rab ka ko ismo de ka jechu rab ma sani to kocha na dinin ke nalle kanu jeda ya wa ka ya rabbi ya allah na ganu ulchite na ganu bulchi sanna biya ke na na ganu kenni saba ke na bilisa nu baasi ka rakati rakura nu baasi ilman te na tamana hida ti rakata jirtu tana nu laali arraga dinu baasi bira nu daaba hum ni ke ti hum hum na ti nu tai يا رب اتي هم نوتاي غرغار سنو كن سبا كن تكو تشنو غو سامني كن تكو تشوا افان تكو تشنو غو يا رب افان تكو تشنو غو وروان تكو اوف ديم ككراكرا لا لي نو غو ككرا تكو تشا ديم نو غو وان مرنو قجيلش نو تولش كبيكا نو درو نو كاي كوان كرايتي ديم نو تولش نو الفيس يا رب اتي دن دي تا نو غرغار رب نو غرغار ربي نو غرغار اللهم صل Aye, mangu doni e ba fitani anile hagu masera tan irra busa na of kalcha na of kalcha eja of karbi rana hambisa. Aye, 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 aye wa ka uma, aye wa ka uma ma, aye wa ka ume walabu. Ya wa ka wa ka sagal tava gabra wa ka sagal ya iborana. Aye, aye, aye. Wag ni nagan olchi tanagan nubulchi an nagan nubulchi tanagan nolchi ragoran olchi dogoran olchi dafi sawin olchi wag awa walit ufnef kanalle albi gutur an numilkesi jilti tuni ega robe jilti milkoft yada boran ega robe aladam balagu te yada milki jila kanalle nu argisisi wag walit ufnef wan gada wan serna wan ada ke nya kanalle Akum mana bane fuar milkai jila milki tinggalu nugut, afang kenya toko nugut, albi kenya toko nugut, garak kenya toko nugut, walur agi cisis, walur agi cisis. Ya awak adina kenya biya kenya mar sekan ati humnak abda iraj absi, nurra debis, irenu tay, humna nu tay, mala nu tay, karanu tay, nugosa biya walur agi cisis. والنتاسس بكان أني ولا لواك أي التعود بر روبانا جا جدان كوفا جبنا هيا Thank you, elders, for bestowing your blessing on this uh, very important occasion. Uh, at this time, I would 
like you all to give a round of applause to the OSA board president, Macoria Bolcha, uh, Dr. Macoria Bolcha. Uh, please, uh, Dr. Macoria, come to the stage and uh, give your remarks. Galatomi Zakia Baganagan Uftani Undum Tikesani, a Asetti Akasitu Alarunke Yakuni by Ega Machisa Avani Englishitin and Cop Esewan and Jedu, Kesuma Wantanu with Dujiranifi, can have come to you of Anka and Lenuva Ubata, a Ihonagoda at Oyumale. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of OSA Board of Directors and the uh, Executive Committee, I want to welcome you to this evening's events. It is with a great sense of satisfaction that I stand before you to open the 31st Annual OSA Conference. The first time I came to Washington was 33 years ago, in 1984. Uh, to attend the annual conference of uh, Oromo Union in North America. Uh, in early July the same year, we had also an international Oromo conference in Berlin. Bonnie Holcomb and Mamu Dibaba attended the conference from the United States. The late CSI IFSA sent a paper to be read at the conference. It was then that we started uh, to think about organizing an, or, uh, an Oromo Studies Association. Few years later, OSA was formally organized. Since then, I have been coming almost every year, sometimes twice a year, to this country because of Oromo Studies. By and large, we have been conducting Oromo Studies without financial support or institutional uh, backing. Given those circumstances, I never imagined that we could write so many articles and books on, on Oromo history, Oromo culture, and language. When I say many books and articles, I am talking in relative terms, re reflecting on the knowledge that existed about the Oromo people when we started. If we take the Gada system, for example, we had only Professor Asimov's Asimov Legacy's classic book, Gada, Three Approaches to African Society, published in 1973. Today we have several books, uh, doctoral dissertations and uh, journal articles on the Gada system and many other topics concerning the Ormo society. In the 1970s and 80s, there were very few articles published on Oromo, his on or Oromo history in international journals. Today, there are many books on the subject written by Oromo, uh, Oromos themselves. New ones keep on coming. Also, what we have, uh, although what has been achieved is what we had never imagined. However, what we have done so far is not more than a scratch on the surface. There are great gaps in our knowledge about Oromo history, Oromo language, and Oromo culture that are waiting to be filled. Oromo said it should not limit itself to Oromia or the Ethiopian regime, uh, region. It must go beyond the present Ethiopian borders, look into the cultural and uh, historical affinities Oromo seem to have, particularly with the peoples of Nubia and ancient Egypt. Culturally, significant similarities in hairstyle, dress, extra, that resemble Egyptian hieroglyphics motifs are still found among the Oromo in abundance. There are many artifacts and outfits used by the Oromo Abba Gadas and the Kalus, which resemble the outfits, outfits that decorate the statues of Egyptian pharaohs. The resemblance between the ancient Egyptian concept of Maat and the Oromo concept of Naga, both of which reflect the ethics that regulate order and harmony, provide exciting area in scholarly investigation regarding the particular uh, probable 
affinity between the philosophies and the cultures of the two peoples. In addition, there are intriguing linguistic elements that indicate similarities between Afano Romo and the ancient language of the Berbers of North America, uh, Africa. In short, there are historical, cultural, and linguistic factors which suggest Oromo affinity with the ancient peoples of Northeast Africa, uh, countering the controversial theory about Oromo migration from the south in the 16th century into Ethiopia. When we turn south, the interaction of the Oromo people with the inhabitants of East Africa is uh, not less interesting. As brilliantly presented in, a, in Professor Gufu Oba's new book um, titled Herder Warfare in East Africa, the Oromo influence in the region from 1300 to 1900 seems to have been very substantial, starting from Juba land in southern Somalia and stretching south to Tanzania the Oromo role in the history of the region was amazingly very significant. The conclusion uh, the, that colonialism alienates the colonized from their true history is well known among scholars. Hence, it is need needless to stress here that the distortion of Oromo history and the suppression of information about Oromo society has been the policy of the Ethiopian regimes for more than a century. Ethiopian scholars have also contributed much to the distortion and the cover-ups. Consequently, there are important areas in Oromo culture and history that remain barely touched by uh, researchers to this day. For example, very little study is done on, on Oromo social and uh, environmental uh, ethics. The Oromo moral and the philosophical principles of Safu and Naga, which offer a unique model for passing over life on to uh, future generations, are waiting for exploration by scholars. The usefulness of Oromo philosophies, eco-knowledge, and social ethics in these times of glaring lack of environmental ethics, religious fanatism, right-wing political extremism and lack of respect for human lives should be appreciated and mediated to the rest of the world. The recognition of the Gada system and the uh, Recha Festival by UNESCO as intangible heritage of uh, humanity can be used as an opportunity to share with the rest of the world Oromo stores of knowledge mentioned above. In short, Opportunities are abound for those who are interested in Oromo studies. As indicated above, there are numerous uh, untouched areas to investigate. However, there are many challenges to be confronted as well as, uh, as well. Acquisition of institutional and financial support requires hard work from us also members. The future of Oromo studies depends on our ability to recruit young scholars for research in Oromo language, history, and the society. Therefore, building networks with researchers at home is very important. Our cooperation with non-Oromo scholars engaged in African studies is also crucial. As a diaspora organization, OSA cannot, be, cannot do everything, but a lot more can be done what is needed is uh, hard work and dedication. Much more can be said about the uh, available opportunities to OSA as well as uh, challenges that are confronting it. But since we have many panels and uh, round table discussions on dozens of topics in the next two days, I will not take more of your time with what uh, should be done. I'll use a few Minister, I have uh, to thank those who have been working hard to discharge their duties as members of the Board of Directors of OSA and the Executive Committee of OSA since August last year. First and foremost, I would like to thank the members of the Board 
of uh, directors, Boni Holcomb, Zakia Pose, Aso Bayene, Amane, but also Moses Aga, and but also had for their dedicated service for OSA and the cooperation they have shown me as a director of the board during the last 12 months. My special thanks is to Zakia, who has been very, uh, who has been, who has been serving the board as secretary for several years. Zakia's service to the association extends beyond keeping excellent minutes for the board. She has always been willing and ready to take extra assignments in different committees and the task forces the board has set up during the year. Thank you, Zakia. I want to thank Boni uh, Honkom, whose assistance I found indispensable many times during the year. I would like to thank Asobayana, Amane Badasu, and Badasa uh, Taddesa, uh, who took task force assignments and have discharged their duties in time. I would like to thank members of the OSA Executive Committee for their cooperation with the board. I thank for the excellent job they have done this year in organizing this year's mid-year conference, which took place in Oslo, Norway, in April, with great success. I would also like to thank them for their input in organizing the 31st annual conference for which we are gathered here tonight. I will take the opportunity to thank the OSA president, Professor uh, Ezekiel uh, Gabisa, for the dedicated service he has been giving OSA for many years, both as its president, this is the second time in that position, and editor of its journal, Journal of Homo Studies. Above all, I would like to thank him for his cooperation with me and OSA, the OSA board of directors during the last 12 uh, months. I would like to thank Har uh, Harwood Schaefer, editor of the Journal of Hormo Studies, for long time service to OSA, not only as Joe's editor, but also in other capacities. He contracted an illness at the beginning of this month and is not among us tonight. We miss him very much. I would like to take this opportunity to wish him quick recovery in the name of all of us who are here and the name of uh, uh, OSA. Last but not least, I would like to thank the local organizing committee who made this splendid evening possible. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and please enjoy your dinner and the rest of the evening. Okay. Um, I forgot the acknowledgement, so I want to make sure that I acknowledge everyone who contributed to this event and made the event possible. So um, I'd like to, can you all hear me okay? Yeah. yeah, okay. So I'd like to, okay, thank you. I'd like to um, acknowledge Bontu Itana. Bontu was instrumental to bringing this conference to fruition. Um, without her efforts, her work, uh, connections, and everything, we would not have been able to make this ceremony possible. And we really, as an organization, want to send out a special thanks to Bontu. So Bontu, thank you. Um, we would also like to thank uh, the Bakiltu group, uh, Oromo professionals of Washington, D.C. In terms of media, we would like to thank uh, OMN, vendors, Howie uh, Restaurant. We would also like to thank uh, Faisa Faji um, for his assistance with this process. Um, one last uh, recognition or acknowledgement. Um, so um, this year, women play an important role 
uh, in OSA, right? So at, at the conference, so we'll have many panels dedicated to women. Um, I'm standing here <laughs> acting as an MC, um, and it was brought to my attention um, that we were blessed with rain today. And so as a result, we must, in the Oromo tradition, recognize uh, a tete. So <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, we can move on to dinner. Um, and I think you will be uh, dismissed for dinner by table. Is that correct? Yes. OK. So we're going to call we're going to call your number. And as we call your number, you can be dismissed to um, get your dinner. OK. And then we will resume the program after dinner. All right. Thank you. Tables one, two, and three. Please uh, go to the hallway and have your dinner. So if you're at table one, two, or three, you can go. For those of you, one quick announcement. One quick announcement for those of you who want to use the Wi-Fi, it's GW Connect. Again, G. Nope. There's no password. Just GW Connect. If it asks you to register, register, and then you can get a password. Egan dawa tu takhe na kam jartan baga jartan esinin jena aku ma be kamu waldang koran no romo yokan osan barakanas kuno as magala Washington DC kesati korai sa gege fachuf jal kabijram ega jela bulti kora guya borufif thani gege famujecha har angkana baka iti argamnuti as je chun galma University George Washington magala Washington DC kesati argamnuti. Kuno halakanan saganta sa kamburo idile walgay sa gigifachuraf saganta jalabulti egalejram ega haluma adadarat. Combined rigorous intellectual work with political activism. We can call her an activist intellectual or an activist scholar. She was initially trained as a journalist in Ethiopia and had a successful, notable career in journalism. Before fleeing, before her long imprisonment. and before fleeing to Canada. She worked in print and radio journalism between 74 um, and 1980, producing and broadcasting various programs that told the story, the history, and the culture of the Oromo people. And then came the long years of imprisonment. She escaped uh, in ways and she, that she has made very public in her story, uh, and she suffered in ways that she has been willing to share, that are part of her corpus of her work. After arriving in Canada, she started again with a new career. She completed an undergraduate degree, two master's degrees, a PhD degree, before teaching in the Faculty of Social Work at Williford Lower University. 
She is one of the leading Oromo social theorists today. We all know about her activism, about her uh, in, in, encouraging uh, and creating opportunities for women to understand what is the actual content of the, uh, the symbols, the practices, and the activities that are part of their domain and to step into those and to use that as part of their own per liberation together, collectively and individually. She's actually doing that now in Ohio and that's why she's not here. That is her priority, to actually empower women and to empower Oromos and to empower uh, the people who have, been, have, have lost the power they formerly had. But she, um, she is also, we don't, we, many Oromos are aware of that. They're not aware of the way she's reached out to scholars beyond Oromo studies to link together theoretically and make people aware of what, of how the Oromo experience uh, is part and parcel of global experiences. And she has done that um, consistently for uh, almost two decades. She's engaged in a broad range of thinking of uh, interdisciplinary thought through critical work in decolonizing modes of knowing and acting on issues of gender and subjectivity, the, na the nature of nations and nationali nationalism, what is home and homeland, understanding identity and belonging, Vi uh, critically examining violence and looking deeply at healing and what that actually consists of. Uh, this is why she did her actual intellectual work in social work. Um, on spirituality and transnational indigeneity. In all of these, she's had a wide cross-disciplinary impact introducing Oromo studies into each of these areas and making many people aware, many scholars and many disciplines aware of uh, Oromo studies. So I would call all members of our Oromo Studies Association to become familiar with her uh, scholarly work, the content of it. Not to hold up a book and say, I, I own this book that Kue wrote, but to actually read the book and understand what it is that she has been suffering and struggling and successfully analyzing. Um, in, in, two, in April of 2016, Kuei delivered keynote uh, remarks in the London o OSA conference. And at that time, Awal Alo gave a very meaningful observations about Kuei's work, which we uh, encourage you to read and I think we will post because he made, he, he looked at her work in diagnostics in the way that she actually um, has worked to decolonize the thinking um, that is uh, that is important to uh, the to liberation, and that she's also d done a lot of work in intervention, uh, and she has created. She's a pioneer in looking at the experience that the diaspora p uh, is having in their creating their identity at the time that they're doing it, at the time that they're going through these crises, and and looking to what is necessary to actually build uh, a new life and a new identity. So. So he has, he has actually focused very well on that, and instead of um, sharing that with you, I just refer you to read that, because she has made great strides. Her approach to questions of, gen of culture, gender, and nationalism will be expo explored. There's a whole panel tomorrow looking at her work, and many of the uh, panels in OSA uh, through this conference actually are influenced by the work that she's done. So she, she uses her intellectual power to open up a breathing space between a world of common meanings and new ones. I really in, encourage it, you to look at it. So apart from her scholarly achievement, she has this compelling personal story, as we know. She's made public some of the challenges she, uh, that she has uh, uh, overcome. Her story only increases her credentials for addressing all the joy and pain that is at the heart of the Oromo experience, Oromo studies, and Oromo scholarship in general. Especially in light of the theme of this year's conference, but in general, Kuei is a profile in courage and inspiration and a foremost exemplar of the best liberation scholarship and Oromo scholarship. We are proud and delighted to honor and recognize her example and her work by granting her OSA's highest honor, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Please join me in celebrating Martha Kuei Kumsa. Yeah. Yeah. 
I give it to you and you hand over. It's my great pleasure to receive this on her behalf. Thank you. The next award, which is the Distinguished OSA Award, goes to uh, Faisa Lilesa. Uh, I am reading here, citation not needed. <laughs> so with that, uh, Bonnie is going to accept the award uh, on behalf of Faisa as well. It will be my great pleasure to deliver this to Faisa, who has opened up the, um, the, the world's awareness of the Oromo people and their struggle and continues to focus on the people's struggle uh, with every interview that he gives and every contact that he makes. Uh, at this time, I am going to ask uh, Ezekiel to step forward to say a few words about the next awardee. Is he coming? coming up? <laughs> the 2017 Outstanding Student Award is given to Gurma Gutama. And Ezekiel, Ezekiel is going to uh, read the citation. The, the award is given to Gurma Guchama for his dedication and efforts while studying a PhD as, uh, in pharmacy at the University, uh, Oslo University and as social activist and exemplary leader. He had led and mobilized many successful social media campaigns, serving as a voice for the oppressed people of Oromia. Gurma led various successful worldwide social media campaigns and petitioned regarding the hashtag BBC Afanoromo and Adisawa Master Plan and many more. Some of the campaigns had high number of participants while they used innovative technology resources to demonstrate interactive maps. Lastly, Gurma is the author is an author, scholar and contributor to OSA. Elala is going to uh, come up front and accept the award on his behalf. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call Soreti Kader to the stage um, for a wonderful poetry selection. Whoever's saxophone this is, I'm going to move it. I'm sorry. Um, thank you for having me. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are gathered on the lands of the Piscataway uh, people of the Tayak tribe, if I'm not mistaken. If that wasn't correct, please feel free to correct me and pay my respects to elders past and present. Um, 
With that, I'd also like to acknowledge the land that I have currently flown from, the land of the Kulin Nations, of the Wurundjeri and the Bunurong people. Um, and with that, I'd also like to acknowledge my heritage, my Oromumma, my family, um, and all that's brought me um, here today. I think it's really important um, that we are aware of First Nations people that occupy any land upon which we gather, upon which we share, especially when we're talking about something as important and historic and um, yeah, significant as the Gada system. So I'm a poet and I'm going to share some poetry with you guys tonight. They say that trauma travels. We know that trauma travels. Timelines slowly unravel. That silence has fueled the journey. Stomach and story has paid the price. When you ask yourself, why does it hurt like this? Know that you are not the first victim, or the only victim, or a victim at all. Choice is child in consequence. Your mother chose silence to live long enough to bear you. When she chose silence, she also chose your pain. So she also chose your strength. For there is only one consequence, survival bears. And baby, what you bear is revelation. That's why it hurts like this. You are carrying a thousand silences, speaking it will be a thousand voices freed. The seed of the story was planted before you, but grows like grapevine, beat bounce to its own time. Find safety nestled in rhyme, unfeathered, it is you who must bear the burden of speech, but fairness does not know this realm though liberation does its sensation fierce its birth tearful so speak child speak for story for all past glory you see my people have always known justice through song i said my people have always known justice through song when conflicted with wrong, attempting to clear the fog, open our eyes or our hearts, we sing about it first. When feet started pounding the ground to resist the coming rampage, the songstress stood by closely. If you choose to see what most see, which is mostly misperception, why are you busy with these sounds? How will they sway parliaments and the crown? But my people have always known justice through song. When war comes, we sing strength into the masses. When loss is known, we sing spirits back home. When confusion comes, melodies make way for sureness. When victory is the verdict, we pound our feet on the earth, returning its mud and fire. We sing praise into the moment and sorrow out of memories. Misdirected is not what we are. Divert the distraction. Parliament only holds a fraction of the power it parades. The people's song is no charade do you want me to prove it sing us into the horizon cure us of this poison teach us the language of freedom free us from our binding demons tell us the stories of tomorrow remind us of who we are do I 
said, who said that the women cannot fight? Who decided this? Women, mothers of men, these words sung by a mother of men, 10,000 on every end, ready to defend what was always ours. And fear tends to tower tall in times of tension, for not for the lies that call for your attention. I said, tend to the truth, and the truth is fear is dead in Oromia, but lives vivid in the eyes of the enemy. The people have spoken, have said that we will live to see the end of this, if it means the end of me. Master Plan Kesani No him be no him be no love For our lands are foreign to us. The land of our grandfathers, the only promise we trust. Oh, sing us into the horizon. Cure us of this poison. Teach us the language of freedom. Free us from our binding demons. And when tomorrow comes, tell us the stories of yesterday. So we never forget who we are. Thank you. I have a couple of more pieces. Oh, no? OK. Can I do one more? Yes, yes can I? Thank you. Um, I just want to let you know that I should let you know this at the beginning, but um, you can click when I'm performing to let me know that you're vibing with, with what's happening on stage. Um, this piece I really want to share because I wrote in collaboration with a project in um, in Melbourne called the Yurimboy First Nations Arts Festival, um, and it yeah speaks to this idea of solidarity between First Nations people, especially living in in, um, in Australia, so-called Australia, Nam, Wurundjeri country, Bunurong country, um, yeah. In the eye of the storm, in the crest of the horn, lies a warmth and a wonder. The thunder, it echoes, but the closure is calmness and harmless. Uh, many things that we sing of in fear. Yes, I live here, but better is a perception and how it came to be. Why it is as such a qu question seldom asked. Only task of justification used to better place us in your imagination. So I ask, how is it that I must thank you and seem that my heart is indebted to your cruel cool colonization of cosmology? I did not believe in your apology, nor do I match with you to celebrate the first triggers pulled and blood spilt, and you spilt it in my home stool. So I know this place closely, but my place in this space whereby to receive your abundance I must close my eyes to the storm my ears to the thunder but it just ain't that cold outside if you breathe I said it just ain't that cold outside if you breathe whether on my land or here my fist stays in the air. I said, whether on my land or here, my fist stays in the air. Calling nation goes all respect. Thank you very much.
thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sariti. Um, we enjoyed, enjoyed your um, powerful poems. Uh, but we had to cut th this a, a bit short. I just have a couple of announcements. Uh, number one, the conference registration will begin tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Uh, we will begin promptly at 9 o'clock. Um, the conference will not take place in this building. It will actually uh, occur at the Mervyn Center. Again, the conference will take place at the Mervyn Center in the Betts Auditorium. Registration begins at 8. We will be begin promptly at 9 o'clock. Uh, the second announcement is that um, we have to clear the room. Uh, we have overstayed our time, so we have to clear this room. However, feel free to enjoy um, the cityscape on the terrace. It has stopped raining, and we are free to go outside on the terrace. They have to clear the room, so we have to exit this room. Terrace, like we have a like a balcony area, and the, there will be music and everything. I think out there. I hope. Yeah. So. Iganda wato take na kuma argitan ne waljang koran no romoda yokan osan barakna waga sodomi to kofa konferensi sa gige fachajram sir ni barnin sa konferensi galgal kana jimata kala kofsa Washington DC saati shanra jalkabeti hagam ma kan gige fami yechuda hala kana 